hello, wherever and whenever you are. Oh, damn it, so close. <laughs> I was like, are we going to be in the right place? No, I'm I'm in the right place. I, I, I knew what was going on. You two behave. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. I forgot to check because we were busy chatting and catching up because it's been quite some time since we had all of our lovely players and various streams going. Hello! <laughs> Sorry, slightly ragged start there. Welcome, welcome. It's good to have you here as we return once more to Borovia and continue Borovia and beyond our homebrewed Ravenloft campaign. Our heroes have gathered all... Oh, the music's really, really loud. Sorry. Calm down, music. Our heroes have gathered the various um, jewels of the various ladies of the fanes as they visited each of the stone circles that were once the sacred sites of these arch fey goddesses. And they learned just how Strad had desecrated each of them. And now, charged with the mission of retrieving the spirits of the ladies of the fanes, scattered throughout the domains of dread of Ravenloft, they hope to reinstate these powerful Archfey to their former glory, and the forest folk wish to worship them once more. And in doing so, they will finally wrest control of the land from Strad, contained and imprisoned though he may be, he still maintains that grip, clinging on to his powers and his control over Barovia. If they are able to be successful, they shall return Barovia to where it came from. A geographical location which our Candlekeep Mysteries crew recently discovered in the Troll Claws between Daggerford and Baldur's Gate as they ventured into those mountains and came across a very sudden end to the mountain ranges as if an entire valley and its surrounding mountains had been torn from the material plane and whisked away somewhere else. So there is a big hole in the ground waiting for the return of Barovia. Where does not live. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to narrate the scene where there's like a, you know, like a, a little herd of like doe-eyed deer just like gambling through this crater, <laughs> and then Barovia just goes <laughs> and returns. <laughs> oh no. Great. I got I'm to do, very sad. I got to do the great um, fake out in uh, Icewind Dale on Tuesday. Um, um, hats off and many thanks to Mike Shea, the lazy DM, and his um, use of um, the Herald, which is a little kind of weak creature that he likes to use as a herald for the main bad guy. And um, they were in the forest looking for a murderous white moose, and they came upon a small rabbit being chased by a fox. And the, the do good. Cleric was like, oh, I can't see it get killed. Boo, boo, and like scared away the fox, which ran off and disappeared. At which point the rabbit reared up on its hind legs as it was an awakened rabbit and said, oh, thank you very much. That's very kind of you. And they were going, oh, it's so cute. And they were having a nice little chat with him. And then some mid conversation he's like, oh, yes, I'm so glad you saved me. And I'm here to witness you get eviscerated by my friend. And just started talking about how the moose was going to destroy them. But do catch the VOD if you missed Icewind Dale on Tuesday, because you could see that all did not go well for that moose. <laughs> evil, evil moose that it was. It was not um, um, what I intended. <laughs> um, Charlie. <laughs> Charlie is uh, desperately trying to see what kind of commands that we have. <laughs> um, DM Charlie, I'll say, um, uh, I will say there is a new command that I just created before stream today, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. I wonder if you can find it. <laughs> it is... It is directly related to this Here's campaign. A chat and this camp I know, just completely <laughs> spamming chat with random commands. It's very, it's related to this, to this campaign in a very um, thing. It is something that I would like to tell the people watching. It's something the people watching ask me for information about when it comes around. <laughs> Not all awakened critters. Yes, oh. indeed. <laughs> That's your druid is showing, Marin. <laughs> Anyway, sorry, I digress. I don't. Does it count as a, a digression if I even start, hadn't started? Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. You'll probably start talking. Did I guess some? Um, oh well, I mean, I was, I was just waiting. Oh, I mean, I was going to get hello. started, but I was waiting for these raiders. GM workshop, yeah, my friend. Very exciting. With, of with course. Your potatoes. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, Rubblejacks. 
I hope you had a fantastic session, GM Workshop. I hope you are doing well and enjoying the shenanigans that chat puts you through. Let me give a shout oh, out to our friend potatoes? here. Yes. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, God, it's the annoying orange, but it's annoying potato. I love GM it so Workshop much. GM Workshop was playing some Dungeons and Dragons. Indeed. I beat you to it, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, massive thank you, GM Workshop, as always, my friend. It's good to see you, and uh, I hope we can catch up soon. Right, okay, um, we are a slightly reduced party um, today as uh, our friend Urk is off and away. Now, usually I let you introduce yourselves and where they're at and stuff right now, but we have all of these new people jumping in here, so let's get a couple of things going. First things first, raiders and people who are with us already, thank you, you should jump in on our giveaway for this evening, which I'm starting up right now, the fantastic CZRPG as depicted in his logo over in the top on bottom corner there, sorry, um, is uh, give, generously sponsoring our channel at the moment and giving away fantastic bundles of encounters related to our various games. We do, of course, have some very interesting Ravenloft stuff. Oh, Robojax, just a moment. There you go. Now you can type that. <laughs> um, that giveaway is open now. So everyone, please, exclamation mark, enter. Yes, there you go, RP artist. Um, jump on in there. And um, if you are the lucky one, you'll be drawn at the end of the session. Do not worry if you cannot hang out for the whole thing. We understand that everybody is busy and has things to do. Um, we will get in touch with you via the um, Twitch whispers or um, our Discord, if you are over there. If you are not over there, please give us a follow and you can jump into our followers' Discord. You can share projects and lots of fun projects being shared with us all the time. You if you have art, if you have things to do... Um, no worries, GM Workshop. Good luck with your work. I hope you had a fantastic session. I will see you soon, my mates. Okay, and um, yes, you can jump on in there, share things, chat about D&D &D and see what's going on. If you're looking for a game to play in or looking for players for your game, we have a new channel for that. There's stuff to share, just food pictures and nice things like that. You know, all the normal fun stuff that we have over on Discord. And you get all the sneak peeks of things going on. <laughs> what is being given away? Um, Zam Zamhoch? Excuse me, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. You have the chance today to win a fantastic bundle of Ravenloft encounters, which you can use in a Ravenloft game or any spooky game. They would make fantastic Halloween one-shots and all that kind of things. <laughs> Something like that. Okay, it's close, close, close ish <laughs> Apologies. Um, so yeah, jump on in there. And if <laughs> you are a GM or if you have a friendly GM, such as GM Workshop or someone of that similar ilk, then you can gift it forward to them and they will be very, very happy. A Valentine's gift for that DM that you love in your life. <laughs> All right. So let us get into things here. Like I said, I um, usually um, do the introductions and recap and things first, but I want to put you in the right places so people can have a look at you and get um, an idea of who you're playing. Although it's just flipping the two of you, so it's not too confusing. <laughs> but let's see. Who are you? Who are you playing and where are they at? Edgar. Who is at the moment pretending to be Esmeralda? Yes. Yeah, forgive you. <laughs> Hello, I'm Mason playing uh, Edgar Phelan, the Mapak Spore Druid. Oh, and nice. currently, he's kind of uh, resting amongst fees, happy. He's retrieved the beads. Um, he does have this feeling of anxious as that kind of like repeat of uh oh, my apologies i'm forgetting names oh, is it? uh who you have to of lady vanta's uh message of time like being short <laughs> with shroud coming and so there's that feeling of anxiousness behind yes Lady Vanta Blackspire, who manifested beyond the walls of the castle Ravenloft last time, which is unusual, unheard of, her first time for that. And you know, let me just... There you go. In the right places there. <laughs> Ta -da. <laughs> okay, so, yes, you um, were, um, yes, concerned by her talk of, uh, yes, time being an issue. Um, tick tock, tick tock. Okay, thank you. And Esmeralda. Hello, uh, my name is Marin, and I'm playing Esmeralda Davenir, the lay singing Vistani Battlemaster. Give me 15 seconds there. It's been three weeks since I was in her brain. 
So I don't remember exactly how she's feeling, but she's probably doing fine. She's very happy to see Vanta and that she's still alive and not any less Vanta than usual, which is very reassuring. Um, yes, I'm very pleased with how things are progressing and looking forward to today, whatever today brings. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Thank you. Okay, pleasure to have you both here. Our friend Urk is unable to join us today. He must be off enjoying the joys of flying around on your own pet dragon <laughs> as he is a drake warden um, <laughs> ranger he's up, up up there somewhere <laughs> just spiraling around in a holding pattern <laughs> this entire time <laughs> yes these two characters are depicted by the rather fabulous art of emma city art he's so good you guys she's fabulous <laughs> yes you learned a bit and Go back again she is over there boom Check her out on Twitter, and if you would like to commission her for your projects, you should do that, because they're fabulous. And we can get indulgent, Esmeralda. I, I've got your full sash in view today, as, as we can... You don't have... Yay. We have lots more real estate on the overlay to play with today. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so it's as big as possible. <laughs> indeed, indeed. So... Yes. It is a pleasure to have all of you with us. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, as I said, if you want to give us a follow, if you're not already, please do and jump on over into our Discord and be alerted whenever we are going live, which is, happens fairly regularly. Now, let us continue here and catch up with what was going on last time we were here in Barovia. As Esmeralda said, three weeks ago. Sorry, I was uh, absent without leave. Very rude of me. It's not an accusation. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, Last time we were here, they were atop Yester Hill, having defeated the evil tree entity, which was awakened by the evil druids, the splinter faction, the opposite faction to um, our friend Edgar's group here. Edgar's group stayed loyal to the Ladies of the Fanes, whilst this other group split off and started worshipping Strat when he came into power all those um, centuries ago. Now, the tree creature you thought had been created by the druids, but it seems to have been a corrupted entity which had some connection to the little campestry mushroom creature that lives in Edgar's hat, as you can see on his art there. Um, and something strange happened um, at the end of that encounter. But as the creature was defeated, a dazed and slightly bewildered looking Esmeralda came up from the hill where she had been knocked unconscious and had returned to us, and they were reunited up, <laughs> reunited <No one's> up. <laughs> up on top of Yester Hill. And as they did so, Edgar moved forward to the desecrated stone circle, which was strangely covered in interesting carvings, almost like cave painting style carvings, depicting wolf-like creatures, several of which Asara noted were bipedal, harking to her own lycanthropic nature. And as Edgar entered the circles, as with the others he has um, um, encountered, he was granted a vision of Strad and how he desecrated this holy site of the Ladies of the Thanes. He travelled to the Golthias tree, the sacred tree in the grove beyond the stone circle, and that tree, as it is able to partake of dead flesh and the blood of those buried there at this sacred place, a very holy place for Edgar's people. He force-fed the tree with undead, vampire spawn, zombies, feeding it and feeding it, corrupting it and driving out all of the um, spirit of the Lady of the Mountain Thane, and in doing so created an evil thing. But Edgar and his friends hope to discover how to re-consecrate each of these sites here, down in Berez, the Swamp Thane, and across next to the burnt-out remains of the old windmill as the, um, the hags were driven out of the bone grinder windmill. Over there is the Circle of the Forest Thane. They need to discover how to re-consecrate them and return Barovia to its former glory. And they discovered that they needed to travel to a location which they have glimpsed in visions and heard rumours of already, a place called the Amber Temple in the southern mountains of the valley. Now, after experiencing these visions, they 
returned to get some rest, heading back towards Argon Vostholt, the previous headquarters of the Order of the Silver Dragon, which they have reclaimed for themselves, having relit the Silver Dragon's beacon and brought some goodness back. Urk, our goblin friend who's not here today, was a member of that order, transformed to a stone statue for centuries after the um, defeat of the knightly order by Strad, but returned by our friends here to active duty in recent times, although he is uh, off and away at the moment. Now, on the way back towards Argon Vostolt, you were confronted by a ghostly entity drifting down from the sky, terrifyingly drawing closer and closer, inexorably drawing towards you, but luckily it seems that your friend, Lady Vanta Blackspire, who is trapped in the castle, the jailer for one Strad von Zarevich, or whose soul you have captured inside a Strad puppet from our friend. <laughs> Um, oh god, what's his name? It's been so long. <laughs> Blinsky. Blinsky's toys in Velaki. Um, her body, physical form, is trapped in the castle on jailer duty, but she has seeming to take on some of the abilities of Strad. Um, his ability to change into a mist-like form, and she had escaped from the confines of the castle in this form and came to visit you and travelled with you, speaking of foul omens of a rather... Um, looming time limit on your endeavours here. But luckily she was with you as you got yourselves into a bit of a scrap as you returned to Argon Vostholt and saw down in the valley below the river valley of the flooded town of Berez the evil hag Baba Lysaga who had you driven from her home and torn away the life-giving so crystal. So close to killing. So close so to close. killing her. <laughs> yeah. So close. Hey, floof, welcome in. And you... Um, saw that Baba Lysaga was down there with the remnants of the Yesterhill Druids and they were plotting together to get their revenge and they animated several of the mangrove-like trees of the swamp which came running and tearing up the hillside towards Argon Vostolt and you did battle and were, managed, um, were able to drive them back and send Baba Lysaga and the evil Druids packing off into the swamp once more. You returned to a jubilant crowd back at the um, at the mansion where everyone laid on a celebratory dinner and you said your goodbyes as Vanta and uh, thank you for that follow as Vanta was drawn away, wisping away back towards Castle Ravenloft and you had to say your goodbyes, unfortunately. But hopefully she will regain enough power to manifest herself again sometime in the future. After saying goodbye and celebrating and enjoying the evening amongst friends in the relative safety of the mansion. You, along with the other good Mapak um, forest folk who are cho choosing to be here and not off in their forest homes, as well as a large amount of Arakokra, including the Bird Queen herself, who has been trapped here from the Royal elemental Italy. plane of air. <laughs> yes, they've taken up residence in the throne room upstairs <laughs> with the Krig standing attendance. I think, Esmeralda, you probably went up and caught up with Krig a bit before uh, going to sleep. Um, they are all yeah. settled in and t finding things very much to their liking. The, the big hole in the roof that was left after the battle is very nice for accessibility, um, coming in and out for Arakokra. Um, and you... Um, we're a bit miffed that didn't help you in the fight. <laughs> All these Arakokra warriors. Queen, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Last line of defense for, her, for the royalty that's up there. You know. <laughs> Excuse me, slurp. And you, um, yes, um, bedded down for a long rest. And during this long rest, you had dreams. Dreams of new abilities and skills as you all leveled. Well, Edgar leveled up. <laughs> Don't complain, Esmeralda. You've 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 enjoyed these <laughs> levels for quite some time already. I you, just know. Got, you just got a head start. You were not being denied anything. <laughs> but next time, out, next time you get to level up with them. Yay! <laughs> I think Absy misunderstood what I was saying because I just checked and he's he's at level eleven now. I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> you were supposed to skip. You were supposed to wait as well. That's funny. <laughs> it is rip artist. Yes, a very nice skylight that they have installed there. <laughs> great big hole in the roof. Um, I, I think Argonvost's silver dragon body was probably 
flung into the roof at one point and smashed through it. And you know, there was probably a very epic battle with Strad as his. Very less forces. charming. <laughs> um, yes, unfortunately, but hey, it's a fixer. <laughs> his body is flung through. It's just <laughs> lovely. <laughs> yeah. um, so you wake up in the morning, grey and overcast as though it may be, and find yourselves back here in Argon Vostholt, your home away from home. <laughs> well, Esmeralda, I suppose, not really so far away from home as you are Vistani, and from here at some point. <laughs> hmm. were, were you and born here. here and left, or were you, were, you, were you born in the material plane? That's a good question, I never thought about it. It's lost in the midst of the past until I make a decision. I'll let you know later. <laughs> Maybe oh, I forgot, maybe. actually. It's maybe. very possible. I'm not sure right now. Yeah, I I have zero memories before eight. <laughs> <laughs> well, well she has zero memories before, what, three weeks ago in theory, so... Oh, that too, yeah. <laughs> Re <laughs> reborn nature. It hasn't come up yet, I don't think. <laughs> With Edgar? I'm not sure it has, no. I don't think it has. I think she's kind of awkward about talking about it. Um. I'm not sure. I mean, yeah, your eyes look so natural. She still hasn't looked in a mirror. She has no idea, I just say. Okay. No one's commented on them yet. No, it's indeed. Um, one thing you notice is um, as you're um, grabbing some breakfast and uh, gathering in that main kind of chamber where everyone dines together, behind that main entrance hall there. Um, you've, you've fixed that leak that was making that puddle in the corner of the room, and um, the gloomy daylight, such as it is, makes a relatively nice effect as it goes through the windows into that uh, chapel of the Morning Lord that's off the dining room there. Although, <laughs> Esmeralda, there are certain bad memories about the uh, revenants you fought there. <laughs> But, I mean, this, hey, yes. <laughs> maybe. Not much you can do with that, but at least the giant spiders are not here. True. Um, and maybe it's those bad memories that have kept Asara away from the breakfast table. Because she's mm. nowhere to be seen. The drow rogue, disguised as an elf, is not present. Clearly. As is Urk, hmm. but, but you've seen you've seen Urk you've seen Urk spiral <laughs> around the building a couple of times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think he's like working out some of the kinks. He was a bit uh, he was a bit disappointed in the way that uh, he and the you know the synergy that he used to share with this dragon friend of his, um, old old blue that green dragon. <laughs> um, I've also been spilled for quite a while. I've had some kinks to work out. <laughs> Bourbon weasel, thank you. Welcome in. Oh hello. Uh, good name as well. <laughs> it is a good name. It is. Now. You notice that absence. I see a distinct lack of Asara. Okay. Over to you. <laughs> oh, good morning, Edgar. Ah, morning We've seen Asara. It's not like her to miss breakfast. She's usually very keen on being the most important meal of the day. Was that so? Um, I don't believe I've seen her. Hmm. Would you like me to ask the other Mopak? Oh, yeah. that would be wonderful, actually. <laughs> but of course. Yeah. And then Edgar will kind of walk uh, around the place, like, good morning to the other Mopak and kind of asking around about Asara. Um, okay, look. Um, let's see. Mapak, Mapak, Mapak. <laughs> <laughs> Is that someone who wanted to look into a mirror and say it about three times? <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> that makes me sad. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god, I forgot that that was it. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> ah. Good morning, boss. How are you feeling today? Ah. Feeling well, little one. And how might you be? <laughs> Not bad. I'm happy to have finished my watch for the evening. I'm going to get some ah. breakfast and then some sleep. Ah, of course, of course. Um, and a great breakfast indeed, so you have that to enjoy. Oh, I am looking but, forward to it much, uh, muchly. Might I ask, have you seen Asara around? Asara? <laughs> oh god, he has teeth. 
<laughs> um, she is gone. Gone? Yes. Gone? I think she was drunk. <laughs> I have not explored the uh, wine cellar myself. Is it fully stocked? I thought it would be too old at this point, but she seemed <laughs> giggly. This is not an attribute that I would have uh, attributed to her before. Fair. I have not seen her as a giggly type from my experience. Hmm. She was uh, you... almost childlike in her joy. She what? bade us good night and said she had stuff to attend to and skipped off into the forest. <laughs> in what direction? I'm out the front door, past the uh, broken statue, and uh, off down towards the Svarek Woods. Well, thank you, and enjoy your breakfast, and get some well rest. Oh, yes, uh, I will. And Edgar will, like, kind of, like, pat, 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 <laughs> like, kind of fast, like, <laughs> as well. Uh, so <laughs> it seems to be an interesting predicament, Esmeralda, as, uh, I heard a uh, Asara ran off giggling into the night. Uh, <laughs> with... <laughs> True. That is what you heard. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Over in that direction last night. Asara. Yes. Are you sure you got the right... For a second, that was not Asara at all. Are you, are you sure that your, your friend didn't see one of the... Should, should have got the right I verb. Mean, I mean, vel velvet's off, yes. Giggle, giggling off? It's not, it's not, uh, <laughs> not so common. Not the giggly. Giggling? <laughs> <laughs> giggling away. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm not sure he... It was during the... <clears throat> it was during the night, so... My watch could have been... Tired as that doesn't seem usual for Sara, but hmm. the only information that I have available right now. Therefore, it must be true. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Well, she's certainly not here, but uh, well, she's not in the castle. I suppose we can guess that she's off on her own business for the moment, anyways. Hmm. Yes. Um, Esmeralda, you, you're very concerned by that description of her behavior. I am <laughs> very concerned by the description of her behavior. <laughs> very, very, very strange. Okay. This is not, are we sure we have the right person here? I, well, if you want to find out some more. What else did, did they say? Were they, was she anywhere in the castle first? Well, they, or they just saw her leave? Yes, he saw her Giggling. walk out the front door and head straight into the forest. What could she have to giggle about? Well, I'm not aware, little one, but... As she looms uh, over him. <laughs> <sighs> we can Go search. That is an option. The entire spell However, of woods. Yes. Sorry. However, I will say we must make haste for Vanta's warning still kind of looms over me and frightens me. I, time is drifting. For them. True. We don't really know how much time we have, just there's not a lot of it. And if you want to get things done, we can't afford to waste too much time. How are you at tracking? Would you be able to find her trail? If she's giggling, she probably wasn't trying to be too subtle about anything. Well, I'm all aware of the woods and the forest. I can do my best to track. Right. Well, uh, we can try at the very least, although we can't spend too much time on it. If she doesn't wish to be found for whatever reason, still, that's a, that's very strange. 
All right, then. First start, uh, let us step out the front door. Maybe that'll lead us to our first hint, yes? Yes, let's not waste any more time. But of course. And so, um, head to the front door and then start to walk straight and like, first on the path, like towards the forest, he, Edgar kind of like looks down to see any like footprints or anything. Um, there are a I'll lot. <laughs> okay, <laughs> guys, that's well, pretty well, obvious. The, cool. uh, the forest folk, <laughs> the forest folk have been patrolling around. And... I oh, knew a lot yes, of boot tracks might be like, was it raining last night? Is there any money put friends away <laughs> towards the forest that we can track? <laughs> I think, I think at any given time, it's it's relatively damp. <laughs> yeah. If if not rain, okay. then the mist is kind of clinging to everything and yeah. things here. Um, but um, the. Um, as you're um, heading out to the front of the building, there is a whoom, whoom, whoom of wings, and blue comes descending out of the sky with Urk on his back. <laughs> yeah, this is where I try and do my Apsi impression. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, let's go with this. Uh, should we go this one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Rick. You, you morning. two took your time. I've already well, had the se- breakfast to be eaten. I've already had second breakfast. We've seen you being quite busy up in the skies. Did you see? How long have you been up there, actually? Uh, about an hour or so. Have you seen Asara? Nah. She's still sleeping. <laughs> hmm. hmm. Apparently, she's not. No. Well, she went to the woods last night in very unasara-like behavior, and we're a little concerned. Great. Right, um, well, um, you, 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 what are you going to do? you try and track her? If possible. Yeah. Are you in, do you have any skills in that area? Um, I'm, uh, more of a, you know, Overwatch kind of guy. Um, you, you, you two, uh, you know, do your bit. I mean, you've, you've got Edgar, there's no one more familiar with the forest than him. Um, you, you, you do that. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll stay close up high, and if you get in any bother, I'll, uh, you know, I'll come, come to your aid. Thank you, Eric. That's very kind. <laughs> no worries. Uh, no, I remember it's um, Eric. I'm so sorry, Eric. <laughs> You're very right. <laughs> right. Come on, Blue. I wish I remember these days. <laughs> and like, slaps, <laughs> slaps Blue on the neck and <laughs> up again. You take him off. Well. At least we have another pair of eyes from a different perspective. Hmm. Two pairs. All right. The only thing we have now is saying there's too many footprints to tell which one's a size. <laughs> well, we can look perhaps can... outside. I mean, recently most of the when we kind of on the main road area. If you see any sort of crashy bushes where a drunken or weekly drama might have gone through in the night, perhaps. We look for that kind of thing, or it's kind of trail off the main road. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so you're kind of standing there talking, yeah, at the front of the thing there, and uh, one of the forest folk um, comes by. I mean, if uh, if if I was you, I would I, I would check her room. Where was she sleeping? Hmm. Well, wow, aren't sleep? you quite? Uh... Detective form. Ah, just a thought. One. Well then. So a point. Perhaps might be a little bit too overexcited to get out there into the woods. <laughs> well, if we went to her room, perhaps you could see if there's any reason she might have been urged to leave. Hmm. I assume we know where her room is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know which one is it? Yeah. So yeah, head up to the um, up to the second floor where the various rooms that you kind of divvied up amongst yourselves um, are. Um, Edgar, I think that your forest folk have kind of taken over where those spiders had been, you know, repurposed some of the webbing into like hammocks and things. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> um, they do like they do like that the, the fact that most of the walls missing because they still got a connection to the outside <laughs> and uh, mm-hmm. you know near nearby the forest. It feels like they're almost in the trees themselves. Yeah. And. Um, <laughs> Yeah, up on the second floor there, where most of the, the rooms and things were, you, you grab those. And then up on the third floor, where the big throne room and things are, is where they are, Kokura. 
and you um, head to where Asara um, was um, staying, and you slowly um, push open the door, and there's no illumination inside, and you peer into the space, and are immediately concerned. Why? Her clothes are missing. All of them? Mm, um, no, uh, the ones, the ones that she had been wearing when you came back. Um, although it seems a shirt that had been a bit bloodied in the fight with the uh, with the tree creatures has, has been discarded and changed for a fresh one. But it's not so strange. Her armor and all of her weapons are leaning against the wall. The bed has been slept in. Hmm. It's it's not made or anything. It's just disheveled and uh, left there. Do I have detect magic? Do you? No, but I can cast it anyway. <laughs> um, I will do so. Okay. With my handy daddy Taroka deck. <laughs> okay. Um, do I sense anything? You... Hmm, let me check her character sheet. Okay. You just you do feel one source of magic over by the bed, kind of almost tucked under the kind of simple mattress that's just like basically on the floor like a futon. Small, small pinpoint of, of, uh, of magic there. But that's all. With caution? Mm -hmm. What kind of magic is it? Mm, my favorite question... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. It's okay. I should. I will. I will pick this up at one point. <laughs> um, it is. Da, 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 da. Conjuration. Hmm. I think. Look over here. Go. What I found. What do I actually see? What is the object? You want to see lift up and have a look? I mean, cautiously. I'm not trying to set anything off. Mm -hmm. If there's something there to be set off. It's something you've seen before. Okay. It is a slender silver pin. But not her hat pin of disguised self. You've seen this silver pin before stuffed into a doll. Oh dear. Well, that's fine, I'm sure. Um, the that's doll. Me, the one from the hut? The Baba La Saga? Yes. I think, yeah, I think that's where she got it, yeah. What? Oh, I have the doll. But hmm? I think I had the doll, but I'm not sure. In... It, it's not there now. Oh boy. Well, that explains to... that. The doll the... is. The, the doll is missing. From where it was. Oh, it I don't point. like that at all. <laughs> I don't like missing dolls. Esmeralda. Well, is I think everything... we have our culprit. And who might that be? 
bag, who we were very close to healing and didn't quite manage to, and who now has a, a grudge against us, perhaps, you know, justified, but she has her own, own reasons to be uh, killed. Um, anyways, I, when we defeated her and drove her away, we took some things from her hut, and one of them was a doll. Rather creepy doll, actually. Uh, it was bloodstained and one-eyed, and I don't really know why we kept it, honestly. Anyways, it's missing now. Oh, so Those tend not to just walk away on their own. So that's what this one did is quite alarming. And you've known Asawa longer than me, but at least I think we both know she wouldn't go anywhere else and he looks towards all our equipment kind of still here. No, she wouldn't leave weapons behind, that's for sure. No, she would never go anywhere unprepared. No. In which case I think it's safe to assume that she's under the influence of the hag that uh, we should have killed. Well, in that case, I suppose if we find Babalai Saga, we might find Asara as well. Edgar. Yes. With that impressive passive perception of yours, yeah. <laughs> as you're talking to Esmeralda, behind you, over in the corner of the room, where there is some old, beat-up furniture from Argon Vosthalt's former days. There is a soft thump. Thump. Okay. Thump. Sorry? Someone's... Is everything alright? Thump. Something on its way here. It seems more. Where? And Edgar will like look in the direction towards the sounds. Be like, Are sounds a bit heavier set than near my park here. I look to wherever you're looking. Do I see anything? <laughs> and... As I said, this is this old beat up piece of furniture from when the uh, mansion was in use before. I don't sense anything magical from it. Um, good question. No. Okay. Somewhat reassuring, I guess. Still. Did I hear it that time? Another Edgar's another Edgar's pointed it out, yes. Hmm. I will approach it. <laughs> It's just a giant, so it's like a dresser, sorry, what was it? it was a... Yeah, it's like a, a sideboard and a, there's um, like a indentation on the top where a basin may have stood. There's a frame that used to contain a mirror, but it was smashed. Um, looks like Asara cleared away any broken glass that was there mm -hmm. when she moved in. Um, but there are doors on the front of the lower section. Okay. And it seems to be coming from down underneath there. Hmm. <laughs> I approach down and, and knock. Like voice. <laughs> As you knock on the exterior, the sound from inside stops for a moment. Hello? Thump. Louder, stronger. Look at Edgar. Thump. You see. As you get closer and kneel down, the door on the section that the sound is coming from 
has been mm. nailed shut recently. Oh. <laughs> I will attempt to take out the nails. I'm not sure how. I don't have, think I have anything with me that's good at removing nails. You can just use a dagger or something. I will use a dagger or something. <laughs> gain leverage on the frame of the edge and slowly, one by one, there's no sound from inside it's, you can making noise working on the outside it's not the doll that'd be very unpleasant and you well, Edgar get ready we don't know what this is pry free the last nail ping 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 onto the floor and what do you do Hmm. I opened the cupboard. Immediately beyond the door, there's nothing. But the entire space is connected, it seems. So there. Off to the left and right, there are shadowy areas. Mm -hmm. and then, from the left side, you hear a... The tiny a, seal comes out? Like a rusty wheel or something, creaking slowly forward. And emerging from the darkness of the interior into the little pool of light making its way through the open door of the cabinet, you see its head tilted to one side. This. I don't want to see this. I have no choice. Oh, I didn't want to see oh. that. Oh. It is not I holding. Didn't want to see it's that. not holding the pin. You are holding the pin. Yeah. I closed the cupboard. <laughs> well, what do we think we just saw there? Well, Esmeralda, I am. It is quite a new predicament for me. I am not. I have no knowledge on what I just saw. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just. I don't know about how these things work, but if Asara. Is the, is the thing still... Do I, what do I have? Is that what I have anything right now? Well, if, uh, that, if it was very much unlike Asara to run off into the night, is it possible she's still there? Hmm. Well, little one, I... If you're a star, she yells at the cupboard. I'm sorry, we were discussing this. It's very alarming. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> <clears throat> well, whether or not <clears throat> that answer is true, we we know that thing has an answer for us at least, or it could at least have a hint towards an answer. Hmm. Probably shouldn't leave it in there. We don't know what it does, but if it is some kind of weird switch that happened, we should probably bring it with us. <sighs> I'll make sure the pin stays quite far. 
from the doll. It's, uh, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, if you want. Well, I don't know what it does, um, but I'd rather have it close than not, I think. Fair. If you want, I can... <clears throat> I will be fine to open the door if you do not want to be face to face with that thing again. We have no choice. If we open the door, will you please come to us nicely? <laughs> I won't see how it responds. There's no sound from within. Open the cupboard. You slowly open the door. And the figure is immediately inside. Hmm. Is it behaving? Sorry? Is it trying to communicate like gestures or anything? Like what's it doing? It's waiting, it seems. And... Does it see more of its surroundings? It seems... Yes, it seems to be aware. And it slowly... <coughs> creaks forward. And it reaches the edge of the doorway and just boom, onto the ground, just topples out, and then shakily raises its head up, lolling around as if it's having difficulty controlling, and then just slowly creaks into the upright position, balancing still on the wheel and starts to slowly move forward. You're a very creepy doll. I know you probably didn't have anything to say in the matter. Tell just lulls to the side. Oh, there. Hmm. How mobile is it in terms of the joints and everything? If we gave it a tiny pencil, get it right. <laughs> <laughs> Does not look like it could hold anything so big. Something as slender as a, a pin. Tiny yes. <laughs> <laughs> a pin-sized pencil. His head is just regarding you on the side. Hmm. Well, what do you think, Edgar? don't know, but I'm quite curious, and Edgar kind of slowly walks up, cautiously, but as he reaches his hand out to, like, Just is there something? turns its head and regards you. Hello, little one. Does it look angry when those <laughs> something else for sure it was angry? Completely impassive face. <laughs> Maybe the hint of a giggle about its mouth. Mm. <laughs> Esmeralda. Mm hmm I'm So, this doesn't, obviously it doesn't seem right, as of course we found a doll in Asara's room, but even... And Esmeralda, this is the doll that you had before. Mm. It... Its head sags forward almost dejectedly. Okay, it's not your fault, you're creepy. 
Well, she doesn't seem sad. She seems quite giggly. Is that so? <laughs> Giggling just like her? It slowly wheels across the floor towards Asara's equipment, leaning against the wall. His head lolls back, regarding it, and then down again. And it wheels around and back to the center of the room. Just in case that's what happened. And you didn't... Did you sense any magical aura from this creature? I didn't, did I? Just from the pin? You know, yeah, from the from the from the uh, doll itself, no, but from the pin, yes. Mm. And clearly, it's not an ordinary doll, but I don't sense anything from it. Intriguing, then. Worrying, as well. As well, yes. <sighs> as Marva. Hmm. Does that pin belong to the doll? It came with the doll. I never emotioned it came from me, or certainly never used it. As far as I knew, it was still my bag. So seeing it here was a surprise, to say the least. I didn't even this... realize it. I don't know how long it's been gone for. I didn't exactly think it would move by itself, so I didn't really bother to keep an eye on it. <laughs> Of course, How did yes, um, I Why wouldn't have ex expected this either, but I, I'm i not sure. We, we smash cut to your, your room when you're sleeping at night and it's desperately trying to keep that wheel quiet as it sneaks out the room. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, just inspired, yeah. it's like, and it looks at you and yeah. you don't, you don't wake up, okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, well, Oh no, it must have, maybe I just wasn't in my room, because I wouldn't have been sleeping, right? Anyway. What? Oh, yeah, uh, things to think about. Maybe it's very noisy and um, windy. I, I assume, I assume you, you weren't sat at the dinner table last night with your pack on your back and <laughs> things. <Yeah>. So. <laughs> <laughs> I guess me everywhere. You never know. <laughs> just have yeah. one steak on hand. <laughs> yeah, don't you have one in each boot? <laughs> yeah, covered in steaks. <laughs> Esmeralda, what do you believe mm. would happen if you were to give that doll your pin, the pin? I don't know. Are you offering yourself to test? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will in this step. It might be yes. somewhat unwise. Yeah. I would also, you know, if you start running off KP for us as well, that's less than ideal. Well, understand as it might be unwise but if if we wish to find Asara soon and still have enough time to restore the sight of the lady of the things we must I believe it's time to make some hasty decisions hmm. Well, but if you think of something else, I'm, I'm here to listen. I'm just worried that going off to search the entirety of this fellow woods for a sour would take too much time. We can bring it all with us, certainly, in case we see her on the way. But I'm just, we don't even know where to start. <laughs> Hello. It comes up and it kind of looks up towards you as you're talking about taking it with. And it, mm. again, the head's still kind of lolling. Mm. Unstably, but it kind of looks almost hopeful. Mm. 
almost imploring yeah. as it looks up at you. Yeah. I think we should bring it with us. Hmm. Okay. Are you still holding the pin in your hand, Esmeralda? Uh, yes, I would be. Hmm. So it comes What's over. What's looking at? Looking at you, looking at the pin. And it comes over and it looks up at you, and it was concentrating mm. on you and what you were saying, and mm. then and then you kind of turn, and your hand was kind of like behind you, and you you turn so that the hand with the pin in mm. it comes into sight, and it just mm. goes <laughs> and just like wheels back, <laughs> backwards as quick as it can, and boom, slams into the um, into the wall behind it, mm. and even even then it's like. <laughs> It's like trying to back further away from the pin, but um, it's, it can't. Interesting. I'm not going to poke you with this, don't worry. Interesting. Perhaps. Hmm. Hmm, perhaps it would be best if we split the pin and the doll. So there's no contact. Magic. There is... Hmm. One person in Barovia that might be quite knowledgeable about these things. Jinsky? Very true. What do you think, Edgar? Might be worth a trip. See what he can tell us. I'm willing to make this trip, but we must go quick. Hmm. Is it on the way? I never keep maps in my head. Where are you going? <laughs> to the toy shop, of course. But is on the way to where? Is where on the way to where? Uh, well, we did need to make for the Amber Temple, didn't we? That was the plan, right? Eventually, yes. Is it on the way-ish? No. Um, Let's go anyway. It's not far from where you are. Mm -hmm. um, if you look, you know, Velaki is quite close to where you are now. It's just, yeah. If you just go down yeah. to the main road and across the river, you know, across where the Lunar River mm -hmm. comes down, it would be like a. 40 minute journey from where you are mm -hmm. um, mm. but that next road over to the left um, the next road over to the left um, as, as to the west as we're looking at it I think sorry mm. music, um, as I just gonna switch up the music a bit there um, that next road there is the one that curls down then and up into the mountains and eventually climbs up and up and up and eventually towards where the Amber Temple is supposed to be, as it gets up okay. beyond the snow line. Mm. But yeah, Velaki is just over there, not far away. So, oh. very well. Um, I will very obviously, like, well, I'll, I did think that perhaps do you want to take the doll, like, or it's perhaps best that they are together for now. It seems distressing to say the least. Will you come with us? I say to the doll. Mm. Okay. She's like very kind of loose. Well, the pin touch you. It seems to understand what you're saying. Okay. All right, well, let's go then. Actually, Edgar, do you want to take the pin? Perhaps I can go pick up the doll. Mm. Yes, of course. And look very yeah. carefully. Yeah. Edgar, yeah, you move, you take the pin and put it away, safe and sound. And Esmeralda, you turn and move towards where it's careened over to the far side of the wall of the room mm. there. And as you move closer, it, it, it moves forward to meet you. It's not doesn't seem mm. to be scared of you. Mm. And then as you get closer, it's just like... Aww. It's like, <laughs> yeah. it's up. <laughs> Alright, let's go to Velaki. What you are. And gathering up this strange animated toy, you make your way out to your wagon, I assume, as remember? Yeah. And conjuring the ethereal horses into their stirrups, head off down, out of the grounds of Argon Vostolt and curving down into the woods and traveling back east towards the lucky.
Is there anything you say to each other? Any plans that you want to make after after calling at Blinsky's as you move mm. on the next stage of your journey? How far do we know how far the Amber Temple is at all? Is it thing you do in the, You haven't heard. No idea. Um yeah. again, maybe something to talk with the uh, folks of the uh, of Velaki. Um maybe mm. there's uh, people um your uh, your two wolf hunter friends should know uh, a good deal. Mm. Um, what, was it Yev, Yev, Yevgeny and Sergei? Sounds the name, right. Names we... that jumped to mind. <laughs> uh, well, shame on me. Uh, no, Sergei is the one who was dead a long time ago and is in oh, love with Tatiana. <laughs> Yev. I don't have any Yevs. It is Yevgeny, yeah. Okay, I just write it down. Got that one right. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> is it Soldar? How do you spell it? Maybe? S Z O L D A R. <laughs> oh, that's definitely not how I spell it if that's what it was. <laughs> hey, Blue. Um, let's see here. I think it is, because I think it was Zol it was Soldar whose family name was in the crypt, you know, the the scary crypt. Mm. Yes, yeah, Soldar and Yevgeny. Okay. Thank god Emma's not here, she'll be <laughs> so angry. <laughs> Um, yes, so yes, you, uh, Soldar and Yevgeny would certainly know what's what. Mm. Maybe able to give you some more of that, uh, wolf, wolfbane honey. <laughs> I still have it in my bag. <laughs> I still know what it does. I'm still concerned. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, as you clatter through the woods, much less threatening, although still slightly creepy, even in the daytime. Um, you hear the rush of water as you approach the Luna River and you clatter across the bridge there and head towards the um, western gate of Velaki. And as you start to approach the walls of the town, there are those clustered cottages on the outskirts, outside the walls. And you... I want to get the name right. I don't want to. I, 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 I screw this up sometimes. I mix it up with another hag. Um, Would we notice? Kind of like old lady character that I used to have oh, in no. a different thing. Um, is, is, it Jenny, is it Jenny Green Teeth? Jenny Green Teeth. I want to say Jenny. I want to say Jenny Green Teeth. I'm worried already. Funny. Well, I'm, I'm just saying because you're going right by her place. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The sister of Baba Lysaga? Sorry? The sister of Baba Lysaga. No, 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 the one, no. The one you, oh, you, res you rescued her sister from Baba Lysaga. Yes, my notes were mixed up. This is what <laughs> I meant. But she's not her sister. Um, where are we? Where are we? Yeah, Jenny Greenteeth. Yeah, that's right. Hey. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, you pass by Jenny Greenteeth's cottage and she's actually out in the garden, um, tottering about. And you can see her sister um, hmm. who was introduced to as Laura Stoneheart is in kind of like one of those like it's like it's like half half wheelchair half armchair it's like this what are they call there's hmm. there's a name for it it's like a oh god what's it called like a big, big kind of like wicker mm -hmm. thing but it has wheels yeah, yeah, yeah. on it uh, as well and, and she's got like a yeah. heavy rough spun blanket over hmm. her sh over her knees and she's looking better than when you found her suspended more blood in on her body. chains above um, Baba Lysaga's bathtub. Oh, <laughs> Edgar, were you here at that point? Uh, I don't, no, I don't, I don't no. think you were. This, this, was, uh... no. No. this lovely old yeah. lady, Jenny Greenteeth, bid you save her sister, who was chained from the ceiling above Baba Lysaga's bath and had been bled out into the bath for Baba Lysaga to bathe. In it was a lot to get through. A That's semi <laughs> semi regular basis, <laughs> but we're still alive. I see. <laughs> um, and you see, yeah, you see Jenny Greenteeth pottering about in the garden, pulling out fistfuls of weeds um, from around the uh, the scant vegetables that are clinging to the to life in the in the soil here. <laughs> and um, and Laura Stoneheart's kind of a bit of a sour look on her face, and she's. Berating Jenny for doing things wrong, and she's like, that, that's, that's not how you do it. <laughs> giving her help. Why did he rescue you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, isn't Jenny's like I should have left you on the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, no, you 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 come closer, and uh, you know Jenny Jenny's always very keen to see if uh, Asara has used the um, 
love potion that uh, she was given because <laughs> she was concerned for Asara's love life when you first met. And she, she looks up and she <laughs> kind of like... Gorgeous, I think. Looks, almost look, seems to look around for Asara and notices she, she, she kind of like colours you. She's like... <laughs> like waves from across the, oh, hello, the Jenny. rough stone wall. How have now you been? Then, oh, Esmeralda, new friends. Indeed, yes, this is Edgar. Edgar, oh, Jenny. Pleasure. One of the forest folk. Always yes. had a soft spot for you, little fuzzy oh. wuzzies. <laughs> oh, <laughs> how sweet. It is a pleasure to meet you as well, Jenny. <laughs> like Sporlax, like the mushroom campus tree, like pops up from me. He's like, oh, hands off, hands off. <laughs> it's my fuzzy wuzzy. <laughs> 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 and uh, and, she, and she's like, oh, oh, <laughs> feisty one, feisty little <laughs> my, my mushroom. You know, I was just about to make lunch. Come here, yeah. <laughs> it's like such a <laughs> reaching up. So like, Edgar, Edgar, Edgar. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Jenny. So, sorry, he is not uh, an appetizer. Or... So, so. Never mind. <laughs> I've, heard of, I've heard of people singing for their supper, but you know, singing supper could be quite interesting. <laughs> I don't want to hear him sing. <laughs> <laughs> ah, do you? What Make brings... Would you like to sing? <laughs> <laughs> what, what brings you to our uh, our little uh, cluster of hovels? <laughs> well, several things, actually. <clears throat> she looks over at, at Laura. Does she seem inclined she, to speak? She, she nods uh, weakly, but yeah, there's a certain strength returning to her. Um, and uh, the, the set of her jaw, but uh, a, a grateful smile as she recognizes mm. you. Mm. I'll, I'll serve Nada Jenny and, and walk over to Laura and serve sit Nilda next to her. I'd be like, I, I don't know how much, I, I hate to make you remember what happened to you in the hut, but do you know anything about this? And she pulls up the doll. It's from mm. the hut. Yes. <laughs> I believe that witch gathered gathered that toy for her baby. She just spits it out as you remember the strange almost half illusion, half construct mm. thing that uh, Baba Lysaga had as the false image of her fake claims to motherhood over Strad. What does it do? These things start off Innocent enough. It was a toy. Probably from here. Do you know Blinsky? Well. Well enough, anyways. Looks like his work. You're actually going to go see him. But seeing as you might have had more direct experience with it, whatever happened to it afterwards, I... But you might be able to tell us something perhaps a bit more about what it was like and what it what it does. As I said, if you'd listen, child, it starts as an innocent toy until someone loves it too much. <laughs> And then what happens? That is a carrier net. Brought to life by the desperate wishes of a lonely child. It brings joy at first. They are evil things. 
born of this realm. And such as this realm and the dark powers that live out there. She just points in the general direction of the nearest border in the mists. Probably across Lake Baratok. Uh, no, across Lake um, Zarevich from where you are. Towards the north. And towards the mountains over there. They do like to trap things. And she kind of looks around the doll, like trying to get a glimpse at the back. Where is its pin? Where is its it pin? Has it. Its pin we found oh. under the bed of our friend this morning. I hope you weren't close. What does that mean? Hmm. Maybe that's not necessary. I hope you weren't physically close. Their body is gone. Although they remain close at hand. <laughs> so she is in here then? If she was cursed by the, the thing's pin. And did you remember when you first got the doll, there was one point when Asara complained of being pricked by the pin. Ever so slightly injured by it, but it was, it was nothing. She just complained mm. about it at the time. And mm. Said how she had to be more careful with it. It has switched places and danced away in your friend's body. <laughs> As we thought. Yeah, Arandisha, you called it before. Well done. <laughs> Be very careful. Destroy that doll and your friend is dead. I thought. So how do we reverse this? Magics that can drive out evil, protect things from evil, should do the trick. For the doll, I'd read the body there as well. I don't know. I was always more careful. Hmm, I suppose you also have things to think about. Thank you. <laughs> You've been very helpful. Take care, Poppets. She pats the doll's head. Enjoy your new abode. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get you out. <laughs> so head looks up at you imploringly. At least we know now, for sure. Yes, you are carrying a Sarah. <laughs> okay. I put her on my shoulder. Does she stay there? No, she doesn't. She has little wheels. Are the wheels attached to her? If you unattached the wheels, could she walk, in theory? You don't know. You don't know how much of the of the of the doll is is connected to the soul inside. That's true. Might not be. Might be. Might, might be, be, might be well, something to experiment with. <laughs> yeah, let's just take it apart and see what happens. Uh, yeah. Okay. Ooh, Lee, right. Lee's offering something interesting in chat there. Could do a three-way swap and get Asara a new body without lycanthropy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's the body shopping by somebody who looks nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's like going through the lucky <laughs> you. <laughs> Sorry, how about this one? This one? This one? <laughs> <laughs> like, what if it's a body that wasn't being used anymore? Okay, never mind. That's a very dark light of reason. <laughs> um, she probably would be super cute with that anyways. That's In, um, so, in some regards, that's what you are. <laughs> I mean, it was your own body that you weren't using anymore, and you just didn't... <laughs> it just, this is very right true. It was just there, waiting to be used. <laughs> Worked out for me so far, no complaints. Yeah, you're doing better Original than Josh. Order. Our other, the only other reborn in the wacky verse is, is Josh up in <laughs> Icewind Dale and he's stuck in that yeah. tin can. <laughs> <laughs> Could be worse than your own body. Although he has, stuck he, my has own body. <laughs> he has brought Warforged into our world. Frostforged, as they're called. Mm. 
<laughs> ice giant runes. I brought yeah. humans into the world. <laughs> <laughs> now, come on, you, you already brought Kalashtar into the world. Come on. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Give it back, please. You're welcome. <laughs> Just steal a body from someone you'd be inclined to kill anyway. <laughs> smash the doll. And smash the doll. Hmm. And let me just see Who's what smashing. Left? We haven't the... killed yet. Let me just see what the smashing the but doll. But then does. let's hear the <laughs> the body that we don't like to the person that we do like. Though. Oh yes, yeah. I I would definitely follow Lee's advice. Smash the doll. See what that. See what happens then. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> Steph, mm. Steph's like, hey, I'm on summer break, I can go back. He's like, no, no, you can't. Nope, you are now in tiny little porcelain pieces. <laughs> Courtesy of Marin. <laughs> Just an angry animated doll head. <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> For any reason, <laughs> we needed to not do that. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Uh, we digress. We do. Terrifying Reg porcelain doll heads. <laughs> mm. So. You, um, um, I mean, that's quite a lot of information already. I mean, I mean, yeah. Blinsky's is there, but <laughs> do we need Dudelinsky at this point? You know what's happened, mm. and it seems like something that happened after he. I mean, it, it's it is. I mean, you you've been in his shop. It's clearly his handiwork. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Edgar? I think we should go see Blinsky anyways. I, I don't know if this is something that happened after it was sold, but perhaps if he knew something about the process. Yes, you're correct. As we don't have a, an exact answer of how to free Asara, maybe he could have a little more information for us. He's the only magical toy expert that we know of around here. We're, we're in the town anyways, so we might as well. Hmm. Let's go. Yes. Okay. Having said polite goodbyes to Jenny and Laura on the way, not just bye. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> bye, dears. Uh, nice to meet you. Okay. Farewell. Farewell. <laughs> <laughs> and you clatter off down the road towards the gates of Ivalaki, and Jenny. Jenny turns to uh, to uh, Laura Stoneheart. She's like, <laughs> and she holds up a fingernail, like a long kind of grubby fingernails she's like got a couple of spores might gray try and grow some of my own <laughs> uh, <laughs> a garden full of spore laxes <laughs> the broken dream <laughs> oh my god pestry were brought <laughs> <laughs> no there is a stat lock for a swarm of compestry oh. um edgar you you, gonna... you dreamed about them that time <laughs> she's gonna regret it when they start singing <laughs> <laughs> And we will learn Ken Jones and Harvey himself. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you clatter on. Um, the, the gates are open during the day. And the guards kind of nod in recognition. Um, things seem to have chilled out quite a lot. And um, as you clatter into the main streets there and make your way towards the kind of centre of town and the, where the Blue Water Inn is and the turning off towards Blinsky's, um, there is a large, craggy... Guard who just comes <laughs> clunking out, slink, clunk, clunk. Ah, my friends. Hello. How have you been? <laughs> a little on the busy side. I've got to say, things around here are a bit boring when there's no revolution. Well, well you can change that. We're thinking of kicking one off. Yeah, just yeah. You know, oh, keep, really? Keep practicing. What's the salary yeah? for? Um, That's good to stay in shape. I'm not sure, but. Uh, uh, my revolutionary brothers and sisters are, are ready to rise up. That's I, wonderful news. Against something. As soon as as soon as soon something uh, presents itself, we shall rise up and overthrow it at once. It's immensely reassuring to know that we have people like you around, ready just to rise up as occasion demands. Well, yeah. Well, um, I hope uh, you have a nice time while you're here in uh, Vileki. And uh, Thank you. If I hear of any questionable doings that require revolutions, I will certainly let you know. There's no one else I can think of who would be better placed. Mm. Oh, and uh, Esmeralda, um, don't worry, the uh, the casket is still safe and sound. Oh, no oh, one will find it. Excellent news. Um, 
your uh, your Vistani, right? Uh, next time you go out through the mists, if uh, if you meet Arafor, tell him that it's safe and sound, would you? Oh, I I will do that. Splendid. <laughs> Fever the revolution. Hey there, fella. So. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it's just a huge kind of like rock <laughs> elemental kind of thing, just in a very tight fitting Velaki guard uniform. <laughs> es- Esmeralda, who is that? Uh, that looks like the kind of person I can go to for any revolutionary overthrows. <laughs> it, it is. He is the consul revolutionary, mm-hmm. extremely zealous and and nigh indestructible. <laughs> Velaki is a safe board. <laughs> and you um for all your revolutionary needs <laughs> oh what's 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 the character's name i keep um korg korg thank you korg, yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's korg. Korg. <laughs> yeah. I, I suck sorry patch's impression is much better <laughs> <laughs> that is um edgar that is a character that is here in barovia because of a one-shot roulette game that's <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> that's and <laughs> It started in um, in Bytopia and, and ended up with Korg transporting some important goods here to Barovia, and <laughs> where they are locked away and safe and sound. Um, but um, the um, yeah, and then it was fleshed out more in the Honey Heist. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kaz, welcome in. Good luck. <laughs> She's repurposed. <laughs> Speaking of ripping things off, <laughs> um, okay, so. You make your way towards the dramatic <laughs> approach to <laughs> the Brinskis. Yeah, where is where is it? I need to find the Velaki sounds it. I don't have it in my group. I haven't had it for a while. <laughs> I know. Come back to me. Must be here. So yes, you pull up the wagon outside the familiar front of the um, of the shop there. And creak open the door and head into the gloom. Edgar, you are <laughs> confronted with a rather macabre collection of toys. There is the working guillotine with detachable heads on the victim. Um, there is a um, collection of uh, mobiles hanging from the ceiling with some with spiders, some with bats. Um, there is a um, nightmare steed, Strad's own nightmare steed, with um, realistic flame effects um, on the hoofs and mane. And um, there are all sorts of other um, dolls. Um, Esmeralda, I can't remember if you were with the party when this when they bought um, this, but uh, it seems to... It wasn't, I don't think. He's, he's restocked the, uh, the doll with the sack of ten interchangeable heads that you can switch out. Um, and... <laughs> I would remember that, I'm sure. <laughs> and... There are all sorts of uh, very disturbing toys that Bad look very, vision. very similar to your carrion it <laughs> that Asara mm. is currently in. Hey, Mally. Mm. <laughs> and um, yes, you make your way inside the uh, the shop there, and um, you hear from the back. Ah, ah, <laughs> just uh, just a moment, please. Just a moment. <laughs> of course, of course, you're busy then. Buzz around. It's it's all fun. It's all Blinsky. Oh. I wait awkwardly to see who comes out. <laughs> actually, also, um, Edgar, you do see um, there is a, a there is a monkey in a tutu scampering about the upper shelves. As um, oh, that's a good point. The monkey doesn't know that uh, <laughs> um, what's his face is dead. <laughs> no, yeah, was, he doesn't, does he? That was uh, okay. that was your mentor's monkey <laughs> originally. <laughs> We haven't found his body yet. He might not be dead. That's true. That's true. Disappeared. There are other alternatives to death. Fell thousands and thousands of feet down the pillar. Once we reach terminal velocity, you don't go any faster. You survive. (laughs) (laughs) It's all in how you fall. He's a very sprightly old sprightly old man. (laughs) Um, Anyway, possible. Yes. Maybe he's just a cat. (laughs) And um, you kind of like looking around and. Edgar kind of watching with interest as this monkey's kind of like scampering around at the top shelves, like looking down at you curiously. And um, you hear some sort of construction going off in the background. And then this rotund, jolly looking fellow with um, slightly mad eyes 
just like comes out from just like pushes through like a leather curtain from the back kind of workshop area and he's like <laughs> my friends welcome to Blinsky's thank you thank you it's good to be here we actually had a question for you but one of your I can only assume it's one of your great works <laughs> I pulled up a Sarah awkwardly oh oh yes and um, Looks like something that I have made in the past, yes. It is a uh, oh, delightful uh, toy. Yes. Ah, did, went, did went to a very special home. Oh, really? Now, what home would that be? Um, one of the uh, merchants in the town here. Yeah, they have a, a little daughter merchants. who always wanted a brother or sister, but they could not have a second child. And um, yes, they, they bought this doll for her on her name day, and she was delighted. She instantly fell in love with the thing. If you um, wheel it across the ground, the wheel turns around. <laughs> so we, we, we bounce. It's quite mobile. Shush, past one shush, shush, you, shush. I'm sorry. <laughs> the monkey is a little Actually, do you have any oil? It's, it's a little bit rusty. You can, it's a little squeaky these days. Oh, you oh, do repairs. Oh, 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 of, of course, of course. Just, just. <laughs> and that goes off through the leather curtain. And then comes back with oh. a little little billy cam with a little, little. And he's like, um, just hold still, little one. <laughs> And, uh, he just gives it a spin. It just whirs smoothly. <laughs> <laughs> it's more fun. It's more Blinsky. <laughs> thank you, thank you. That's not entirely the reason why we came, but we appreciate it nonetheless. Now, the interesting thing is, we didn't come across this doll um, it, with from the merchants. It was uh, somewhere somewhat less pleasant, oh. and I feel something might have befallen oh, it. Uh, it is. So sad when children outgrow their toys and throw them away. Oh. Yes, well, unfortunately, it ended up somewhere much less uh, desirable than a trash heap, oh, which would be named. Poor thing, and he kind of like roughly pats the doll oh, on the please, head. Please, please be gentle. Uh, oh, do not worry, it is Blinsky, it shall not break easily. Hmm. If I was to take this saw to it. <laughs> Perhaps you shouldn't, and she, you know, is like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes, what do you know about carry nets, Blinsky? I'm sorry? Carry nets. Carry? You mean marionettes? We have a fine no. display. Look over here. No, carry nets. No mistake. This doesn't mistake. Sounds rather sinister. Not like something I would make. <laughs> just just all those sinister toys. <laughs> 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 oh, how is your mm. friend enjoying her little. little. Count Strad von Zarevich puppet. Much, oh, a bit more of a collector's item, very, I believe. Very he much. Has, um, it's become rather absent from these parts. <laughs> yes, no, it's it's doing more good than than you could possibly imagine. <laughs> <laughs> it went to a very very good home, where we hope we stay for a very long time. Oh, me too. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, hopefully it will never leave its home. Oh, we can only dream. I still love all of my toys. It is a terrible pain to sell each and every one of them. But if you well, would like true. anything, it's, it's with please. family now, so uh, a, a um, loving family. You, you there, my <laughs> my, my uh, diminutive um, uh, friend. Um, I, I sorry, as my brother, I assume this is not um, another pet of yours. It just has claws oh, and the things. <laughs> very much not a pet, uh, Edgar. Perhaps you'd like to speak for yourself here. <laughs> Nay, nay, my apologies. Oh, it speaks to you, is it? Yes. <laughs> I love speaking yes. furry thing. <laughs> um, no, um, what's, um, you know, um, Esmeralda used to be with a um, speaking bird. <laughs> Very strange. And now speaking oh. creatures too. <laughs> Are there yes. more of you in the forest? Yes, there are many of us. And yeah, if you want to see another speaking creature, pap, pap, and like have Spoiler, uh, sound when it comes out. Do I have to? <laughs> Spoiler, it's a new friend. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings and salutations from this, the cap of Edgar. Vinsky's <laughs> <laughs> just like. Oh. <laughs> Speaking bodies, speaking creatures, and speaking mushrooms. <laughs> I must create a new line 
Yes, little mushroom folk that have working mouths. And, oh, it could be a nutcracker as well. You put the nut in the mouth and squeeze the stalk and poop. <laughs> it comes the nut. Yes. Oh, oh, um, do you have further business? I must create this at once. Oh, we wouldn't dream to keep you from your your, your vision. <laughs> you're, you're an artist, sir. Ideas. So many ideas. Now you, behave. Do not throw the poop. <laughs> Cover the doll. <laughs> <laughs> and just pushes through. The, uh, the curtain and disappears. You just hear him it's like, oh, yes, mushroom. I need the red paint and uh, this. Oh, yeah, and I could carve it. What what wood would be best? Oh, yes, he says, soaring away. It's <laughs> clearly straight I think into broke anything else out of him today. <laughs> well, uh, hmm. that, that is a man of his work. Uh, he is terrifying. Let's get out of here. You can see how the the doll is appropriate. You can perhaps imagine what the Stroud was like. In any case, well, we didn't learn a lot. We certainly learned that it is the kind of doll that this kind of thing could happen to. I think we can simply assume that Blinsky was not malicious. Right, well, you know more than you did before, Asara. She sort of pulls the doll up. <laughs> At least now you can move around quietly if you want to. Then up ease feels what you're used to, but. Well, it's something. Yes, it's just her, her joints kind of make a noise. So I'm just, you know, using that to. Mm. So she doesn't like to sit there silently. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so you're heading back out into the street. Mm. Mm-hmm. So, what is the plan? Are you going to make the most of today and head straight out into the mountains? Hmm. I don't know how far it is doing. We can see how far we get. Oh, you were going to talk with um, Soldar and uh, Yevgeny. We were. Mm-hmm. Let's do that. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> um, you make your way round to... Um, I'm just a moment here. Um, yeah, you make your way out back outside into the streets and there are people coming and going. There's a much brighter air about the village than the last time you were here. You know, the um, the previous you know the baron is gone you know there's all the enforced festivals have finished and done with and there's no longer a threat of strad looming over mm. um as there was before and um even though the weather is still just as gloomy and dreary the uh, the mood of the people is is much brighter and people are kind of nodding to each other and smiling as they pass by and um not scuttling from you know doorway to doorway kind of thing and you make your way around into the um town square um, in the main center area there and it is across in the northeast corner um, outside where they had the stall where it was outside before during the uh, the honey festival oh. <laughs> um, where there was some bears sneaking around up to no good and um, the honey badger <laughs> and the honey badger <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and a horse <laughs> and a horse <laughs> <This one>. <laughs> <laughs> Um, With a body attached, be clear. <laughs> just, just body head flipping. Yes, of course, yes. <laughs> just the, the, ma- the mafia sideline. I would put it past the vaccine, though, be able to just turn to invisible body parts it will. <laughs> and um, she, yeah, this is like, like Harper's basic training. Yeah. <laughs> Sarah could do it too. She's and just, your hands gone. <laughs> never, <laughs> um, no. Um, and. She, um, yes, you, you head on over to that where you've seen them with the stall set up, and there is a quaint little shop front with a gingham awning stretched out over the window, shading it. And on the interior of the um, window, there you can see an array of wolf pelts and wild honeys and other goods gathered from the Svaric woods, and you see um, the sign over the um, door which says Soldar and Yevgenis. Is it like a bell or something? Exactly, like push through there. There's a, there's a delightful little yes, tinkle of a bell as, as you push through. And the, the smell is wondrous as you open up and into the space here. Just that rich aroma of honey, honeycomb, yeah. And uh, and then that slightly musty, um, but of, of treated and cleaned, but um, animal pelts as well. <laughs> and then there's a very strong pine smell as well, like um, that you've experienced out in the forest. 
um, as well. It seems like they must be um, gathering some of the uh, the pine essences from the trees and things to make candles, mm. maybe. Oh, that's very <laughs> um, nice. Is this a one shot or is it tight? Um, Bed Bath and Brew, yeah. <laughs> GM, <laughs> right? <laughs> Um, GM Workshop, um, this is a homebrew Ravenloft campaign which is carrying on after Curse of Strahd. So Strahd was defeated and imprisoned, his soul captured by a cleric of the Raven Queen um, up in the castle. Um, and they are trying to free the last of his grip on the land and reinstate the Ladies of the Fanes, the old Fey goddesses that were in um, worshipped here and were, um, are hoping to return Barovia to the material plane from whence it came. Um, and they have just discovered what they need to do, head to one mysterious sounding amber temple, which is not somewhere they've been before, and uh, find out the information that they need to figure out the next step of their quest. Now, you are greeted boisterously by two wolf hunters. Ha! Esperetta, welcome. Hello, and hello. You have a new, where, where are the others? Where, where are your friends? Oh, the business. I see, I a see. Welcome. Um, your, your new friends are friends of ours. Do not worry. <laughs> they just left Blinsky's GM workshop, actually. <laughs> they were just in there. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, Yevgeny and Soldar, the wolf hunters. A married couple in our game. <laughs> Although I think I think it kind of leans heavily on that in the module as well. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't say anything, but it's definitely there, implied. there to be to be implied. Yes, indeed. Hmm. Um, what brings you here today, Esmeralda? And, oh, did you try out that honey? I actually mean to ask you about that. What does it? Why makes it so different from regular honey? Oh, it is just the um, flowers that are blooming in that particular part of the Svaric woods. Um, it is a uh, a a repellent against. Uh, these things, and he gestures to wolf pelts hanging on the wall. A wolf repellent? If you eat it, or you rub it on yourself? Um, oh, no, no, if you eat it, then it will get into your pores and, and give off a, uh, a scent, a musk, if you will, that will terrify the beasts. <laughs> Is it just regular wolves? Is it werewolves as well? Sorry you tell me when you find out. <laughs> oh, I see. We haven't tested this yet. I will... Let you know, I probably don't look at sorry. Have we, have we taken I some of our honey sorry. and gone looking for werewolves? No, we have not. <laughs> is, like, can't there be a physical thing or a magical thing? Is the doll turned into a tiny little werewolf? Or does um, the body... Sorry, I, just... I, I believe it is a curse. I don't know the indications of that. No problem. Thank you for letting me know. This is a very useful information. A powerful, um, a powerful priest could remove, I think. Hmm. But then you remember that's what Edgar tried and mm. was unable to do so. So the mm. um, and the mysterious friend has appeared in the uh, Wizard of Wines, um, portaling in and then portaling out with with your friend Zinicus. Um, mm. Mentioned the um, a, a existence of a stronger type of werewolf. Mm. Some people mm. they Lugaru, <laughs> and if. And it was and the that, dark wolf. <laughs> that style of that style of um, of werewolf. Then the uh, the process would be not so simple. Hmm. And um, but anyway, yes, Evgeny and uh, and he's, Evgeny's like Solda, Solda, Esmeralda is here with um, someone else. Oh, this is Edgar. I'm so sorry. I should introduce you, Edgar. Edgar. Welcome, my friend. Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, we have um. <laughs> Not had the pleasure, I think, before we have uh, come across many of your kind whilst we were out in the forests. <laughs> but uh, I believe we have not uh, spent any time together. We have uh, visited one or two of your uh, fascinating um, settlements. <laughs> oh, how splendid! Mm, the hospitality was wonderful. <laughs> I'm glad to hear. Always want to make sure the fellow Mopak, uh, make sure everyone is welcome. Oh, yes, a delightful lot. Not like those ones up on Yester Hill. <laughs> so, what brings you here? More of the honey? Uh, wolf well, skin we cloak? Well, we actually. Thank you, we haven't had too many rounds of wolves. I'm actually just wondering, how far abroad do you travel for your hunting? We are... What do you know about a place called the Amber Temple? Are you familiar with it? It is rumoured to be in the southern mountains. You've never been? Um, there is no hunting up there, above the snow line. <laughs> mm. Too cold for my tastes. 
Sildar is made of sterner stuff. And uh, Edgar, you see a, a, a large, uh, like more barrel chested um, fellow with a huge beard just comes <laughs> out. He's like, What are you saying about me? I am not fat. <laughs> <laughs> I did not say that. I said you are more resistant to the cold than I. And that is true. That is why you always snuggle up so close on the cold nights. Aww. <laughs> the toes are freezing. <laughs> now. How far away is it then? I mean, I suppose if you've been, perhaps we'll be able to, to stay, but how far does it take us to get there? Thank you. Well, to the mountains, maybe about half a day's journey, if you, um, if, okay. if that, if that is yours. Is that your wagon? Uh, yes, it is. Hmm. It would get you a decent chunk of the way, <laughs> although the uh, mountain passes it, uh, up beyond the uh, up beyond the bridge, uh, up beyond uh, Solinka Pass would be uh, a journey on foot mm. for the last uh, trek of the journey, I believe. Mm. Mm. I see. I see, it's a half a day. Well, that's good to know. Uh, is, what can you tell us about the terrain around there? Was it like, I mean, as far as you've gone, anyways? Well, the, um, the road that you are looking for is the one past um, the turning for Argon Vostholz. If you go on to the next junction, um, the one which uh, goes off crossroads to uh, um, to Lake Baratok and uh, the old wizard's tower up there, um, then that is the way that will eventually lead to where you want to be. Um, although, really, um, please uh, take care in those uh, southern forests. Um, that is where. <laughs> that is where. It's, it's, Soldar said he saw those flying werewolves. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, He's going quite crazy. We're, we're actually quite familiar with those as it happens. I'm sorry? <laughs> His eyes didn't oh. deceive him. I hope you weren't teasing him for it too badly. Soldar, my love. Good news, you're not crazy. <laughs> I said, I know. <laughs> Do you believe me now? <laughs> now that you have the word of others? <laughs> um... I believed you all along, of course. <laughs> and um, they, uh, they're just teasing me. As wings is all there. <laughs> <laughs> and sorry, no, no offense, but this this is slightly less fun without Emma melting in the corner. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry, we're not melting enough. <laughs> I have to I have to bookmark this uh, the start of the scene and send it to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Anyway. <laughs> um. So. Um. And uh, Soldar um, disappears out the back and comes back and he's like, um, both of you, look at this. And, and he spreads out a, a map, um, not unlike the one that we have on our screen, if I zoom out somewhat more. What a coincidence. <laughs> and boom. And uh, yeah, he spreads it out on the, uh, on the table, which is uh, the majority of the valley of Barovia. You can see where the castle is, and the little village of Barovia, and where mm. Madame Ava's camp is, and the Tsara Falls, and there's Lake Zarevich there, and you can see where Argon Vostolt is, there's like a little dragon mark on the map there, and then you can see the old road petering out into the swampy remains of Berez, and of course over towards the uh, town and the, the mountaintop monastery that uh, Esmeralda knows so well. <laughs> And, uh, and you see that long, winding road that goes far to the south, rising up around the contours of the mountains and switching back on itself and curling around there. And, t and mm. he points, this, this is where the temple is said to be, but it is said to be a cursed place. Do not go there cursed. lightly, my friends. What have you heard? No details, I'm afraid, that it is a place of evil. And you remember Urk telling that um, the Order of the Silver Dragon were kind of sworn originally to protect that, and that Argonvost had taken up residence in the valley because the Amber Temple is there. Now, um, I need to talk with Apsi, actually. He, he, he was saying, like, mm. um, I'm, I'm sworn to not let anyone go there. He's like, mm, that, that yeah. wasn't quite right. Um, the, the Order of the Silver Dragon is sworn to keep evil people from going there. 
and yeah. you know compete to to keep um, people that would use the knowledge and the things inside for evil purposes going there. Um, mm. But um, yeah, he, he he wouldn't he would be able to um, guide you in that direction. Yeah. Welcome in everybody. It's good to have so many of you here. Um, yes. If you haven't already, do jump into the uh, into the uh, um, giveaway that we're doing today. CZRPG's fantastic um, Ravenloft encounters and give a big bundle of encounters can be headed your way. It doesn't have to be for uh, a Ravenloft campaign either. You can spook spooky any spooky setting that you want to put these things in. Lots of really really good design, fantastic stuff from our sponsor CZRPG. There, let me give them a shout out in the chat here. And GM Workshop, as you've uh, come back from a, a break in work, I assume. Um, thank you so much for that raid again. <laughs> Lovely to have so many of your people here. CZ RPG. Ellen, how you doing? And, um, yes, anyone. Hey, Bolly! Um, anyone who uh, is not already, if you want to give us a follow, you can jump into our followers' Discord. Get all the sneak peeks of the information. If you have streams or projects and things that you want to shout out, like our good friends, 225 Games, I saw there before. Um, thank you. And also, um, while there's so many of you here, um, a massive thank you to all of you that were able to join us over the weekend for the charity stream. It was a wonderful, wonderful, huge success. Thanks to our partners, um, our wonderful guests, and especially all of you who watched and um, all of you who donated so generously. Again, another huge shout out to DM Charlie and all of his um, community who were so generous um, to our cause. And we ended up a, a massive um, $2,645 going to Jasper's game day. Absolutely phenomenal. Thank you so, so much. Um, if you donated $5 or more, you are in the giveaway. Keep an eye on the email that you donated with in case you are one of the lucky winners of all of our partnered um, gifts that will be calculated and sent out to various folks <laughs> as these ravens flock overhead um, <laughs> in the near future. So uh, keep your eyes open for that coming soon. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, the uh, keepers of the feather are like, get on with it! <laughs> <laughs> it's the raven's flock. Um, so, um, actually, we, we are actually just hitting midnight there, so... Oh. As I've broken from the story, we shall break from the story for a little bit longer, um, as, I, as I think we can catch up as a, as a, a green dragon thumps down into the courtyard oh. outside um, with uh, your goblin friend on its back next time, hopefully. And, uh, yes, we will finish <laughs> here so with off. Soldar and Yevgeny showing you the way and telling you that it is a cursed place, a dangerous place, and you will go there at your peril. <laughs> it's okay. I, I, went, I, went the half, I went with the half dragon, not the full dragon, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like really anticipating it too. I was like, oh, okay, here you go, here you go, here you go. And danger! <laughs> <laughs> that is the full. Hey, pl Plague? Plague? Welcome. Is that Plague? <laughs> Welcome in, Raiders. It's a pleasure to have you here. How are you doing? Thank you for the raid. Tamagotchi, it's out of the forever. The So cool. Welcome, Raiders. <laughs> I'm afraid we're just wrapping up, but you have joined in time to join the, into our giveaway if you would like to do such a thing mm, excellent um, timing <laughs> <You're basically things. laughs> and you can hear about all the exciting chances to come back and visit us in the near future as we jump on that in a second here let us give you a shout out there oh as the marching band goes by in the, in the band side thank you everybody <laughs> now how do I write three four <laughs> I don't want to misspell this she you how many e's three one two three boom <laughs> what are you up to Playing some Metal Gear Solid, hey! <laughs> this is a blast from the past. Nice. Okay. Thank you. Welcome, everybody. <laughs> Welcome, Blake. Good to have you. Welcome, my name. Now, um, everyone, yes, as I said, if you do not already do, please give us a follow and jump into that followers Discord where you can get all the sneak peeks of information that's coming up and share your projects and streams and art and anything that's going on and just chat or lurk if that is your thing. It is absolutely fine. Um, please do jump on by. If you followed us today, thank you for those followers. Um, please uh, give a look at your Twitch whispers and we'll send you that invite there very, very soon. Now, <laughs> thank you, Greg. <laughs> Welcome. Now, everybody, let's... Us. A woo indeed as a wolf chimes in there. <laughs> it's like, you killed my dad. <laughs> it's a wolf felt too. <laughs> um, so yes, we will join our adventurers as they set off towards Mount Gakis and the Amber Temple in the mountains to the south next time. But 
It is an absolute pleasure to have shared this evening with all of you. Thank you so much for joining us. Last chance, if you are not already, please jump into the giveaway by typing exclamation mark enter in the chat there and have your chance to win some D&D encounter bundle goodness from CZRPG. It will be Ravenloft themed, dark powers and the like. So please, if you are interested in that or have a friend or a DM that um, you know that would be interested, please jump in the giveaway and get your chance to win. Now, I will draw that in just a moment. So last chance to jump in whilst I say what's going on next. Join us in a matter of hours, 10 hours from now, we will be off through the Vale into the Feywild as we rejoin our Wild Beyond the Witchlight crew. Cannot wait to get back to that. Then, it has been a very long time since we were over in Chacenta on the Sea of Fallen Stars as we jump over for Chacenta's Tyranny, an upcoming adventure from CZRPG that we are playtesting and introducing to the general public um, before it is released. Um, do jump in on that fabulous fabulous um, adventure that is going on over there. Then on Saturday, you can catch us over on Quest Junkies UK. Let me give them a shout out here. As we are heading over there for a Humblewood one-shot? <laughs> I think it's a one-shot now. <laughs> <laughs> or mini campaign? I'm not sure exactly what it's going to be. Um, you can come and see me play the new Mattville, Matt Colville class, the Beast Heart, as I Ooh. will be playing... Oh, and another another oh, raid as well. Pleasant. Dirty 20. Dirty 20. <laughs> Not natural, unfortunately. If you've got them, folks, let them fly. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. How are you doing? Um, there's Quest Junkies over there. <laughs> Jump on over there, and you can find us doing a Humblewood game on Saturday. All Humblewood characters, come and see me with my little mimic buddy <laughs> as we go adventuring in the, the mm. in the Humblewood forest. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for the follow. Pluplopart. Pluplopart. <laughs> And uh, welcome on in there. Yes, I cannot wait for that. Next Tuesday, we'll be back in Icewind Dale for Ryan with the Frostmaiden. Then, Wednesday evening, Thursday morning, depending where you are in the world, we'll be back in the Underdark for Out of the Abyss before we roll right back round to Borovia as we head to the Amber Temple. It's not somewhere, that, not somewhere they visited in Curse of Strahd, so I'm excited to uh, get up there and enjoy all of the fun and frolics that you can have there. Now... And also, what will, become, I'm sure that's exactly what's gonna what will become of their friend, Asara, trapped in the carrionet creepy, creepy doll? We shall see what is going on next time. So, that is that. Anyone, um, I should do one more shout-out for the giveaway as we had that new raid in there. Thank you once more for that, Dirty 20. Um, let me do a quick shout-out for you there, my friend. Um, dirty, dirty 20. Boom! Are you playing some D&D? Yes, you were. I hope you had a fantastic session. Yeah. Welcome in, everybody. Um, we are doing a giveaway of a Ravenloft Encounter Goodness from CZRPG, an encounter bundle from that fantastic Brazilian publisher. Um, it is wonderful, wonderful stuff and fantastic design. Um, you can check out their Patreon, which they have up and running now, for very beautiful maps and encounters that you can drop into any game and wow your players with at any time. And jump on over there. If you are not already, do consider giving our socials a follow. We have all of our VODs up on YouTube with all the links to all the music. And you can jump over to sirenscape.com for a free 30-day trial and get yourselves in on all that musical sound effect goodness. Like, we have these ravens circling around ominously overhead <laughs> at the moment. Um, and then, um, yes, all of the other music links that we use, such as our much, much appreciated and popular um, Vistani battle music is all yes. linked over there. And DM Charlie, if you're still there, that is the new command. Because everyone always asks, what's that music when we play it? It is these fine folks, the wonderful people of <laughs> Daviosa <laughs> Collectif and Noah, if you want to head on over there and check them out. Um, now, <laughs> fantastic stuff. That so is good. all we wrote for this evening. So I'm going to close these entries and see. I'm going to change up the music. <laughs> Change up the music, as in, as in put on some music. I was just sat here listening to the town square of Velaki. <laughs> Let's just bring on some epic music. Yeah. There we go. Ah ha ha. Okay, my friends. Our journey is at an end. And the giveaway is closing. Last chance okay. going. Going. Any last minutes down to the wires? No, it is closed. Okay. Everyone, 
lots of people in there tonight so good luck if you're the winner you are a lucky winner today <laughs> um we are going to see just who is the recipient of this wonderful encounter bundle from ccrpg tonight's winner is Boop. cold steel skin that's an adventure name if ever i heard one <laughs> congratulations that's the first uh, first time winner we've had on the channel here Huge congratulations if you are still here, well done, omerito gozaimasu. If you are not, do not worry, we will be sending it in your general direction very, very soon. Coldic steel skin. <laughs> oh, you are still here, congratulations. Yay. Well done, well done. Welcome in, welcome in. <laughs> um, we'll be sending that, I'll be sending you a link in your Twitch whispers to claim your prize very, very soon. Right, okay everybody, as the music plays us out, we are finished here. We hope to see you somewhere on our adventures very, very soon. Thank you for joining us wherever and whenever you can. Do, though, stick around as we go on a raiding somewhere else and spread that love on through the community elsewhere. If you've got them, let those phoenixes fly. We've got our little raid emotes if you're following, even if you're just following the channel. Um, it's not just for subscribers. You can jump on over there and do all of that. Ah, let us do a little time jump. Our good friend, the adorable, wonderful Orangey, is doing Curse of Strahd right now. So let us move from Barovia to Barovia in an alternate timeline as we see what Orangey and her friends are doing with their version. Absolutely wonderful streamer, wonderful, genuine, lovely person, adorable um, little VTuber. Go over there and spread the Orangey love and if if you have enough channel points, you may even be able to get a little ara ara from uh, from there if you if you're lucky enough. Who know. It's a rare rare and uh, treasured thing. But anyway, that is all we've got time for. Thank you everyone so much, Edgar, Esmeralda, <laughs> Mason, and Marin. Thank you so much. It's been lovely as always, and we shall always see you pleasure. hopefully with our goblin friend next week as well, and maybe Asara one day if you ever bust her out of this creepy doll. <laughs> Thank you all so much <laughs> for joining us. It's been wonderful to have you here, but we'll see you all very very soon. But it is time to head off to Orangey and go a raiding. Let me get that set up so we're ready to go. Okay, folks, make sure I get that spelling right. Yes, okay, so, everyone, stick around for the raid. If you've got them, let those phoenixes fly. But, as we like to say around these parts, Oyasumi no Sai. Take care, everybody. Oyasumi. Oyasumi. See you next time. <laughs>